Eins zwei, zwei drei. drei. Yeah. Eins zwei drei. Eins zwei drei. Eins zwei drei. Eins zwei drei. Hello and welcome to the Eins zwei drei count. I can talk German too now. Uh, this is for the Bashin Berlin show because it's Bashin. Bash in, not bash at. No, it's not bash at. in. I'm Ollie Davis. I'm joined by Luke Owen, DAD. And on this episode, we're going to go through every single main roster member's chances at bash in Berlin in three words or less slash fewer. But there's not room for everyone in Berlin. So some of these people will just have to enjoy nice versed in catering. Uh, well, yeah, Austrian. I don't, I don't want to be stereotypical. Also, I'm doing Duolingo, so I... I don't want to be stereotypical. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. That's not my style, Pete. <laughs> Later, Hosen. Same Bronson tsunamis. You say. Gonna squash and kill Adam Pearce. Oh, I did actually think that maybe they'll do an angle with yeah, him. So I thought yeah. he might actually do something to him. But you think he's gonna do 10? Why not? I've also gone down the uh, the German route. Est is off... That's right. That's right. Official. S is official. Official, would you say? For official? You speak German. Official. 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 It is official. The TNA community. <laughs> Think he's going back. Why has he not been back there yet? Well, because. TNA. HOF. Oh, a Hall of Fame induction into TNA. Yeah. Mm. Unless he's already in it. I should have I should have looked that up first, Pete. Is he in it? He so, should be. Something tells, me, something tells me he's already in the Hall of Fame. Isn't there like eight people in the TNA Hall of Fame? Yeah. And, and four of them are Gail Kim. <laughs> I think she gets inducted every year. Along with Kurt Angle. Sting, Kurt Angle, <coughs> Jeff Jarrett, Earl Hedman, Gail Kim, Abyss, Ken Shamrock, Orson Kong, Raven, and Tracy Brooks. No, oh, so... That... <laughs> and Team 3D, and Mike Clay and Don West. Okay. No offense to Tracy Brooks. <laughs> However, AJ should probably be in there by now. And I think now is the time for AJ to go in. Somehow still champ. Still tag champ. Yep. You ready for some German boys? <laughs> das Tante Howdy. <laughs> Tante, but... Tante Howdy. <laughs> Not actually needed. Oh, okay. You think the White Six are doing fine without I Auntie Howdy? Yeah, I think they are. Well, I know we're talking German a lot here, but renames Velocidad Championship. Velocidad? That's speed in Spanish. Is it really? Mm -hmm. oh, I like it. Still no render. Oh, what? They've still got the... Still got the same one. A weird hovering speed championship belt <laughs> in front of the crossed arms. <laughs> got our deviant art. Levesque too long. As in, this is taking too long to get I know to. we wanted long-term storytelling <laughs> forever, and no, now no, we're no. getting it in both promotions. No, no, no. This is not long-term storytelling. This is a story that's taking too long to exactly. tell. Uh, still turning face. Just get there already. Disappears for a bit. Deserved much better. Oh, what, from the from the title reign? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Posts image cryptically. Interview aggregator news. <laughs> what, so she does an interview? Yeah. And but then, it's, it's not for something wrestling related. No, it's, it's like she's like, got a walk on part exactly. on a network show. That's exactly it. She's doing something, an interview about what's not, you know, about Bluey or something. And then she just like, someone will ask her, hey, what about the old wrestling? Mm. And then that becomes a headline for the aggregators the following day. Another triple threat. Proper treading water. Yeah. How can we keep this act <laughs> uh, still booked on TV without ever beating them? Triple threat? Triple threat. Sadness hiding pre-show. Oh. He's going to be asked about Odyssey Jones and the New Day. He's going to be oh. like, no, no, I'm really for it. Like, you know, I've been out for a while. I cannot believe that we've got Big E in an episode of Three Count and we haven't had an idea of his, oh! Because <laughs> that's what I've read. Oh, Germany! I just want Odyssey Jones to do well. Oh, Jack. <laughs> I've only got a few impressions I can do. Fed to Cargill. Oh, no tiff, Dav. <laughs> He's right there. Retains against Seamus. You 
you think the shame is? I've, I've, I've got more around this, but, you know, I think okay. that's a good, solid European match to put on I in that, Berlin. I think there's a more European man who made a name for himself in that area that you could go with. Not yeah. from the area, made his name in the area. Well, I will come on to him later. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of coming on to people later, bang bus leader. That's what Bron Breaker is. Bang bus leader. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're trying to get that over, aren't you? <laughs> Uneasy Drew Alliance. Reed took out Seth Rollins. Drew doesn't like Seth Rollins. Kind of heels together. I don't know about that one. No, I, mean, I don't know about I've that got, one. Got some more. Tell some you what more. we're in for, though. Try a monthly push. It's a rare two worder. Not Brooks Bagwell. <laughs> Not Josh Briggs. <laughs> Yeah, Pete. Yeah, Pete. <laughs> yeah, you screwed that up in the SummerSlam yeah, video. Pete. Yeah, you made us all like right tits uh, into that video, didn't you? I hey? said it so confidently as well. We just assumed so he knew what right. you were talking about. Josh Briggs is his name, I'm pretty sure. Josh Briggs. So Josh yeah. Briggs is in there. This is what happens when you don't name the kids after their dad's wrestler name. I don't watch NXT. <laughs> and neither do you. <laughs> That's disgraceful. <laughs> Actual tag mid-card. Yeah. I feel like like I was I keep on thinking oh Creeds can go for the the tag team cha championships but I'm like no but there's a top of the tag division and then there's this this feels like the most stacked tag time since like the early noughties. It's weird because the tag titles don't feel important on Raw. They're just secondary to whatever's happened in the Judgment Day. Exactly. Street trash. Spooked by Gacy. I'm on the outside for a different match. Mm. Spoke about really good tag scene on. Raw, same things happen on SmackDown. You've got a definite mid-card and upper tier of the division. DIY are, of course, at the top, I would say. And when they're going out for their next match, Sami Zayn camera style, Candice LeRae wishes them luck. Because mm, I've gone slightly different. Not trusting Champa. Oh, well, I, so I should probably... Wishes DIY luck. But you're, you're going down the um. I think They're going to mm. pick this thread back up again. Because they actually did start this. Not last year or maybe the year before. Whenever Johnny Gargano came back, they did start the thread of you can't trust Smash the Champion. Then they dropped all of that. Then they're going to re-pick that thread back up. I've got a one word. Intergender fears. Mm. It's an intergender tag match. Yeah. And he's going to interfere. I, I, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Plays as Pat. He just strikes me as the sort of person who will like purposely select Pat McAfee on 2K24. <laughs> or one of his mates. He'll move. Exactly. Uncle Howdy Singles. Howdy Singles match. Yeah. Hopefully that happens. I'm well, worried yeah. they'll just deviate from it now and move mm. on to something else. Chad said I've got unfinished business mm. with that uh, with the Wyatt. So I think we do the singles match at Bash. Tiffany Expose storyline. She's not Nia Jax's real friend. To do that sort of thing. Again, I've gone in a slightly different direction. Mean Girls team. So currently we've got Chelsea Green and Piper Niven, and we've got Tiffany Stratton and Nia Jax. What if the two Mean Girls no. start to go towards each other mm. and they turn upon their their bigger partners? No, I. Oh, I I, I see what you mean there. But you know that scene in uh, Shaun of the Dead when they're walking <laughs> around the back of the houses and yeah. they see the exact same characters going the other way. It's a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of a mirror image. I like it. Tag act. Sword strap match. I think we're building to a strap match with Punk and Drew. I agree. And, like, Drew keeps taking stuff that Punk loves. <gasps> Bring back the sword. Oh, and no. Whip him with it. <laughs> but it's like a floppy sword at a thumb fair. Again, I, I agree with you. Strap match. However, strap is bracelets. It's actually going to be a massive version of the punk bracelet, and that'll Ooh. be the strap. With the beads. The beads would, yeah, that would hurt a lot more. Big, big L A R R Y. <laughs> so, a lot of the criticism I would say at SummerSlam was that the bracelet kind of got in the way of the storytelling. How are they going to counter that? Bye. Make it bigger. <laughs> Make, Make it physically bigger. <laughs> Ticking KO time bomb. Pushes KO's buttons. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't. You gotta know who you're dealing with here with Owens. I don't think it's gonna work out well for you, Mr. Rhodes. He's been on a steady baby face alignment for a while, but oh. Yeah. You push those buttons a little bit mm. too much. Mm. Choke slams Liv Morgan. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Not seen since Baron Corbin. 
took out Becky Lynch all those years ago. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to build to some attitude era man on woman violence. It's about time. Yeah. <laughs> Big Finn stare down. So I think the finish of the match is Finn trying to go for something, but Priest just stares him down. And then you get the finish elsewhere between two of the other members, one of which is not Liv Morgan. Tag team enforcer. Surprising why it's breakout. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, why it's tripping. I didn't see it coming. Weeks, yeah. Live, sacrifice, save. And by that, I mean Rhea is going to do the riptide on Dom, finally get her revenge. Liv sacrifices herself for Dom. It's actually a genuine relationship. That's that's nice. Mm. Rhea pegging pin. Okay. Yeah. Shoulders on the mat. Uh huh. Just Arse trying to visualise this. Legs high up in the air. Legs akimbo. Yep. So you can get you know really. She mentioned how like he can't get deep. Uh huh. So she will. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thought the strap match was the other one. <laughs> AEW looking good. <laughs> Got Phoenix now. <laughs> Don't need you anymore, mate. <laughs> uh oh. Whenever, whenever Ollie does this, he puts his hands up. Friendship bracelet, Reed. He gives the bracelet to Reed, and that's like, I want you to have this. <laughs> so it's, it's Punk's bracelet. It's not like a new yeah, one yeah, yeah, for yeah. Reed. Yeah, but he's just crossed off and but I don't know Reed on the the little thing instead of Larry, the bracelet collector. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Austin Aries with all the belts <laughs> exactly. in 2019. Have loads of friendship <laughs> bracelets from everyone. Tag title shot. Judgment Day feud. Judgment Day just turned on their own. That's the whole motivation behind the White Six. Lovely Brody tributes. Priest costs belts. Oh, you think they're going to take the belts off of them? Heat up that fi uh, Priest feud even more. Mm, I suppose so. Interference doesn't work. So he's going to. Interference being one word. He is going to try, but Priest is going to stare him down. Because mm. we're using this intergender tag match to build to the two singles matches. So that's what you want to build the tension between Priest and, uh, and Balor. And Rhea and Dom. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Not that, you know, over the world title or anything like that. Venni Vidi Vici. <laughs> New Veer Mahan. No, no, he's going to be better than this. <laughs> no, this is... G Vinci is coming. This Every is what this is. This is going to lead to f*** all. <laughs> Everyone was losing their minds about Vinci on that SmackDown episode. Of <laughs> they, they, were, they were. No, they were. They were. Everyone was... The, the crowd in the... <laughs> And the Baltimore crowd popped huge when they saw it. I was like, what's all the big deal? And I went back and I re-watched his old NXT entrances. There's something there, man. <laughs> I dismissed Vinci for being a bit vanilla. I'm I'm Team Vinci now. Vinchilla. I uh, I cannot wait for you to do predicting Survivor Series way too far in advance, and he's like your main event oh, guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I see champ by them. <laughs> Tag split 2028. Lackluster theory match. You know, eventually. Uh oh. The hands are out. Dusty finish restart. Uh, yeah, I've gone for something. I've gone for KOTR, one word, finish redo. Oh, so what are you saying, though? I think it is Randy that gets the visual pin on Gunther with the shoulder up, but the referee sees it this time. Mm -hmm. So not quite a dusty finish. Yeah, so I just go a bit further. Randy Orton beats Gunther in Berlin, and everyone's like, oh, my God. Triple H comes out. Not this time. Restart the match yeah. and Gunther wins. I definitely think they're going to play into the shoulder, mm. right? Missed mega match potential. Just like we got with Bronson Reed back at... Mega match is one word. Mega match is one word. Uh, have you seen the movie Mega Mind? <laughs> There's not a gap in between Mega and Mind. I mean, he's got a point. You know, when he's right, he's right. No, you can't. So, like how Bronson Reed didn't get a match in Australia when it was Elimination Chamber Perth, uh, I think Dragunov, just, just because of his place on the card, he doesn't feel in the right spot to get a match. I'm looking at all the champions and they don't feel like they should face Dragunov what, right now. What, the Bron Breaker? Like they've been building Dragunov versus Breaker. What, so Dragunov can lose to Breaker in Berlin? Yeah. Because I've, I've, got, I've got perfect Breaker match. <laughs> I guess you could do that and that. 
sows some seeds of doubt that maybe Gunther will lose as well. Yeah. Well, not every, you know, like Pipe and Evan didn't win in Scotland, mm. neither did Drew. Yeah, the only uh, I think, unfortunately, they haven't heated them up enough to do a big Berlin match. Okay. And I think they'll save him for sometime next year. Yeah. Squashed by Bianca. <laughs> Get squashed. Worky muck work line. <laughs> yeah, he's injured. Squashes all Brits. More squash matches. Loses to Wyatt's. Steals Dom's tendies. <gasps> Discord in the judge in the street trash. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna just like steal one of his tendies. What they'll do is they'll just do it as a as a throwaway thing. He'll just eat a little chicken tendy off the off the table, and then Twitter will make that into a big thing, and that will become a storyline beat in two years time. <laughs> like when Tamatonga just slightly delayed handing over the lay <laughs> to Solo exactly. Sakoa. You're going to hate this. Okay. Becomes Terra Triplets. I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love it. I actually love it. <laughs> Book it now. Problem is he's going to be too busy because it's Sammy team up. Bloodline. Great tag baby face. Brawls with Creed's. Around ringside, they'll have the Wyatts around ringside, the Creed's and, and Ivy Nile, and they'll all brawl around ringside during the Chad Gable house mm, match. Black. Gold. Blue. But no, don't push your bluey stuff on me. <laughs> Sorry, you're a poor patrol man. I he he uh, he posted that the Street Profits match on SmackDown will be like black and gold, and I, wow. I was like, that does feel like yeah. the vibes that are happening here. And you know, I love the vibes. <laughs> yeah. So I thought black, gold, blue. Maybe that's what SmackDown's top tier of their tag division can become. I I, quite, I like that a lot. I, I really do. sitting now with Bobby Lashley gone. Can probably put oh a bit my more God. focus yeah. on the, yeah, on the yeah, profits. Yeah. Um, you know, just ditch the whole pride stuff. Just focus on the profits again. I like that a lot. Reunites with Candice. I think you need to do that first before you then do the Candice stuff. Just right. unfortunately, in our alphabetical order, we had, I did the Candice bit first. Buff Buchanan's son. <laughs> no ball, son. Sorry, <laughs> right. yeah, he's, he's. Is he the one is that, that's. Yeah, is, is, he, he is he Bob Buchanan's kid? <laughs> Or is it Dante Chen? <laughs> I made one mistake. Sky Pirates happening. Wins tag belts. Oh. I think they'll win the tag belts. Could be, next, that... could be next week in the triple threat. Not by pinning Cargill and Belair, though. Oh, absolutely not, no, because they're not in this triple threat. They're going to pin one of um, Pure Fusion Collective. No, I got that right. That's actually that, what they're that, called, what yeah. They're called. It sounded wrong <laughs> because it's so bad. It sounds like a WWE sponsor. Yeah. This match is brought to you by Pure Fusion Collective. Or some uh, sort of collection of YouTube channels that are working together on a 2K fantasy booking series. Oh, I like that. Worse than Danielson. You know, there's well, we've been critical as well of the whole Danielson all-in build where Danielson doesn't want to win the belt. Uh I got similar vibes from the whole Cody, Kevin Owens story. Yeah, where he was just like, my win-loss record doesn't say mm. that I should get a title shot. Uh, yeah, not what I would have done. No, no, no. Ain't no simp. That's what Grayson Waller called him. So right. you're a simp for Cody Rhodes, and that's why you're not going for his world title. But I think Kevin Owens is going to prove that he ain't no simp. And he is gonna it's gonna be a world title match when we get there. Actually justified Woods. I know, right? Stop stealing the microphone yeah. from him. He's trying to cut a promo. Woods accidentally hits. Ooh. Escobar fill a feud. Establishes SD midcard. Which they actually mm. kind of need. And he's like, you need to figurehead for it, and he's the guy. Offers priest key card. She wants to take everything from Rhea. I suppose you've got to try and take Terra Twin as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Runs from Rhea. So that's the finish. As the Finn tries to interfere, Damien Priest stares him down. Liv bails out of the ring. Rhea Ripley hits the riptide on Dominic Mysterio and pegs him while playing. <laughs> and that's the finish to the match. I see three way push. Sheamus pre show match. Oh, okay. You, you've booked a. Pre That's the most surprising thing. You booked a pre-show match. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you need to get Kaiser on the card, and there's only going to be five matches on the card. This is a Triple H era, so there's not really room on the main card for a Sheamus Kaiser match. But you want Kaiser. You want to have him on the show, mm. so you put him on the pre-show. That's the, your your hot opener. You also yep. got to eat into Collision's ratings. <laughs> <laughs> it's your banger bus opener to put on the pre-show. 
miss on Raw. Raw will miss. Yeah. 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 I can't believe, seeing that we're re-watching a lot of like 2014 WWE at the moment, how great Michael Cole has become. Yeah. Third wheel return. Just same again. <laughs> Filler until Cargill. Quick green squash. Hmm? Fills for Pierce. He's going to do both shows. Because Pierce is written out right for now. a bit and then you get Aldis on both shows just for a month while Pierce can recover. Yeah. I'm going to play to your uh, your sensibilities here. So I booked him in a Cody Rhodes match, but not at Berlin. Next year, Wembley. Oh. 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 I like that. It's a good bash in Berlin prediction. Fights for Maxine. Oh, that's cute. She steps yeah. in to take on Ivy Nile instead. Crossbody to everyone. So during the match, during the everyone's brawling on the outside, she's up top. Crossbody to everyone. New New Day. <laughs> Big social numbers. Raw team done. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm going to miss Pat as well. Well, so what's Pat doing? He's staying on Raw. Well, it's it's not been officially announced, but the speculation is he's going to do the ESPN game day stuff. When he did that before, he had to stop announcing. Oh, that should be quite nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm over Pat for the time being. Um, mostly because barks with Bron. Mm. I, 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 I've had enough of this barking nonsense. Returns near war games. Brings back Jimmy. Ooh. Makes Seamus lose. He's the cause of the IC three-way loss. Yeah. Attacks Ridge Holland. Mm. Surprised thing down in NXT. That'd be, yeah, that's fun. Mm. Show a clip of that on Raw. Yeah. Better Jack's contender. Big Nia stare down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's... We can have that one. Yeah. yeah. I, hope they, I hope they do that match. Me too. Roger Rabbit flattened. <laughs> After all those tsunamis... You wanted to get over like, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> no, Miz goes to visit him in hospital and yeah. R-Truth is just a printout in the bed. A 2D printout. I okay. <laughs> Books Miz Femi. Oh, the Femi. Yeah. Right, yeah, okay. Gonna make that happen. Yeah, of course so. Pepperidge Pool remembers. Oh, it was so close. Oh, really? I went with... Triple H Farm remembers. Oh my god, we're so <laughs> close! We can't shake. can't shake on that. I was trying to see if I could get a H in there as well, but it, then it would have been Triple H, mm. Triple H, Triple H Farm mm. remembers. So I just went Triple H. Doesn't Riptide Dom? Hits Riptide Dom. You know when the White Six came back mm. and they just did the single note for ages and I was just building, building. When's it gonna mm -hmm. do the drop into the full entrance theme for Roman Reigns? Acknowledge me edging. I'm just waiting now. I'm waiting for him to say acknowledge me. It's going to be big. I don't know why in my head, your version of it, like the piano thing, is just... Dadum, 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 until they eventually go... Dun, dun, dadum. That first bit is what 2015 to 2019 sounds like. <laughs> Obtuse, tribal chief. Explain. Well, so many. When I we did the SummerSlam review, <laughs> and I said he's the original Tribal Chief, everyone in the comments had a go at me being like, "No, it doesn't sound like that. It stands for our Tribal Chief, or it stands oh. for um, something else." So I think I'm just going to keep coming up with different O <laughs> words for uh, original Tribal Chief, Only which tribal is what chief. it actually is. Can't see direction. Actually, Sammy Ten. Oh, that's. Thank you. Thank you. It's spelt differently, but it sounds the same. But you can see his direction. He's tagging with Jay. No, Jay's a, a terror triplet. Oh, sorry. Yeah, in your world. US title program. Solid US filler. Mm. Gone until Rumble. Sells back more. <laughs> uh, 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 dive. dive. Takes IC pin. Saves Ridge Holland. Mm. Oh, okay. That's nice. You're not fat too. Not quite working. Mm. Fatu is. Fatu is, though. Yeah, yeah, more of him. Solo doubt spot. Already had a bit of hesitation, potentially, yeah. in handing over the lay. Maybe Tamatonga's regretting his life choices over who he's backed. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spear. <laughs> yeah, 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 is all one word. 
So I spoke earlier about how Miz is going to visit a two-dimensional R-Truth in hospital. See how he's recovering. Did he sound like me? <laughs> but then he's going to he's gonna be like, no, I need to avenge Truth. It all felt like it was going to, like, we're pushing this heel turn on Miz. And we thought, well, he's just going to turn on R-Truth. No, the way Miz turns heel is that he says he's going to stand up to Bronson Reed and slowly becomes a chicken S-word character because he keeps running away from him. So, cowardly flees Reed. I've just had a flashback to something. Pete, you might be able to help me with this. Did Miz bring Bronson Reed in? Yes. He was a hired gun, right? Yeah. <gasps> I could have thought of oh, that. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Maybe, I've, what have I written? Can I think of something now? Three words. Also, I did a bad Roger Rabbit line there. I was trying to think of what he says when he stands up. He's like, when I killed your brother, <laughs> you just like this! <laughs> So I imagine Why are you doing Big E? Because I originally just wrote Joins MTV Challenge because that is what <laughs> Raw was sponsored by this week. Uh, can I think of anything like this? Um, Rehires Bronson Reed. Sure. Yeah, I figured it out. Moana Action Reboot. Now, I know they're doing a live action version of Moana, but this is one with explosions <laughs> and Ryan Reynolds, presumably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a tequila brand. Are you trying to say that uh, the Rock wants to attach himself to a hot prophecy at the moment in Ryan Reynolds. The Moana Cinematic Universe. Are you saying Moana? What are you saying? Moana. Moana. Because that is what her name is. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> Trailer gets mocked. Oh. He's doing this super serious movie. He's got all the big prosthetics on. <gasps> it's going to come out. Trailer's going to and everyone's going to like, <laughs> silly. What's it called? The Wrecking Machine? Yeah. Mm. Genuine babyface friendship. Oh. Her and Naya. Toodles to Naya. Oh, you think she t she cashes in? Yeah, I, I mean, it'll be down the line, I guess, yeah. not anytime soon. Bash it in. So you've gone the Candice LeRae angle for this. I've got in the, the sort of black, gold, and blue tag era of SmackDown. On one of those times DIY losses, loses. Gargano, loss, frustration. Mm. Just do the whole the whole NXT storyline, I guess, what I think they're going to do. Only this time, convinces Indy Hartwell. It's Candice. She doesn't trust mm. him. He convinces Indy Hartwell. No, I'm, I can be trusted. I can be trusted. Technically tag champion. <laughs> what has happened here? Botches on purpose. But do you think he's been doing this as a work? Oh, no, no, no. But from now but on, from now on that's his big spot. Everything he's going to do, he's going to do just slightly wrong on purpose. <laughs> Social numbers. Trolls London Mayor. <laughs> See, what, he's not signing. He's seen how tiny the, the belt was that they I gave him. I do not know what that was about. I've had friends who have no idea about wrestling ask me, why was the belt so small <laughs> in that article? Bragg's European numbers. Usually when they do mm. these shows, it'd be like, we got the biggest Australia, we got the biggest uh, France, we got the biggest, you know, Canada. Because this is a week after All In, uh. he will brag that this was big European numbers. Core cameo segment. Oh, he yeah. posted about the core on Twitter recently. Because I've, I've written correct WWE tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Just accept Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> Torn between groups. Mm. Still. Pure lame collective. <laughs> Not them as wrestlers, <laughs> just it's one of the worst team names I've ever heard. Oh, it's not that bad, is it? Pure Fusion Collective. Yeah, they're Pure Fusion Collective. Sounds like a restaurant that I don't want to go to. <laughs> Can't buy win. Because not only does their name suck, they also suck and cannot buy a win. If you like us talking about things in three words or less slash fewer, go and watch us review all of 2003 in three words or less slash fewer. Hello and welcome to the one, two, thousand, and three count. count. Because in this episode, we are going through every WWE pay-per-view in the year 2003. Rip, 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 re, rip, 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 re, 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 re,